Hi, it's a wonderful Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, April 29th, so we're doing the Wednesday math column. Make sure you please put in your first and last name. Then let's look at problem number one. Miss Rivera sharpened 748 pencils at the beginning of the school year. After two weeks, 189 broke. How many pencils does Miss Rivera have left? All right, so let's look we, at our numbers. We have 748, we have the number two, and we have 189. Now I have to figure out what do I do with those numbers? So I go back and look. She sharpened 748 pencils at the beginning of the school year. So I get a picture in my mind. She has a bunch of sharpened pencils, 748 of them. Two weeks later, 189 broke. The two weeks, uh, that doesn't really matter. The fact that matters is the 189 broke because it says how many pencils does she have left? So I need to work with the numbers 748 and 189. So I'm going to put them in my columns, my ones, tens, hundreds columns, and I'm going to stack them. So when I say the number, let me move this over a little bit, there we go. When I say the number 700, the sevens in the hundreds place, 748, four tens, eight ones, then she had 189 of them break, so one in the hundreds, eight tens, nine ones. If they broke, that means they went away or she lost them or they were not sharpened anymore. So she has 189 of them to subtract from the 748. I start at the top, I have eight minus nine. Eight is less than nine, so if I minus this, I'm going to get a negative number. We don't want a negative number in third grade, so he goes and knocks on his next door neighbor's door, and he says, hi, can I borrow a cup of sugar? And the four says, sure, you can have one, and four minus one is a three. Now, if I look at that, 48 now becomes 30 plus 18. I still have the number 48. I've just changed how I looked at it so I can subtract. Now I can subtract because I have 18 here. So 18 minus nine gives me nine. Three minus eight. So if I have three and I have to take eight away, I can only take away three and then I'm at zero. So if I say three minus eight, I'm gonna have a negative number again. So I go to my next door neighbor. Can I borrow a cup of sugar? He says, sure, I have seven. You can have one and the seven becomes a six because one plus the six gives me the seven back. This number now in the tens place, I have 13. 13 minus eight is five because five plus eight gives me the 13 back. And then six minus one is five. So the answer to the problem is she has 559 pencils left that are not broken. I can check this then and see if I take my broken ones and my non-broken, I should get back the 748. So I can do a quick check right at the side here. So I can take the 559, which is supposed to be my answer, that are unbroken, and I take my 189 broken. If I add those up, nine plus nine is 18, carry my one. Eight plus five is 13, plus one is 14, carry my one. Five plus one, is six plus one is seven. So this checks because this was the original number we started with, the 748 that she started with all sharpened. She broke 189 or somehow they broke and our final answer is 559. Our next problem says find the total area. Area is the 
inside of the object. Think of the square units all inside. I need to divide this object into two separate rectangles to find the area. Once I divide them, I'm going to find the area of each rectangle and then I'm going to add them together. I have my little formula to remind us length times width equals area. And I'm going to put my little dotted line in um, so I can have two separate rectangles right here. So that's going to break that 12 apart. I don't need that 12. I'm going to look at my first rectangle on top. I have a five by four, all right? And I need to do the inside to find the area. So if I have four units going down, so one, two, three, four, I need five going across the top. One, two, three, four, five. So five times four gives me the area of the first rectangle. And I can count five, 10, 15, 20. Five times four equals 20 square units. Then let's look at what I have left on the other rectangle. Going down the length, I have an eight. And across the bottom, I have a two. Remember when I drew this dotted line here, I took the 12 and I took it apart. So that 12 no longer is relevant to us because the whole line right here is 12. So I'm using eight by two. So if I have two units across the bottom, I'm creating a two by eight array, then I need eight going down. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight here two times, eight and eight. So I have eight times two, eight plus eight, or eight times two is 16. So now I have the top area equals 20, five times four equals 20. The bottom area equals 16, eight times two, or two times eight. Now I just need to add these together to get the total area. Zero plus six is six, two plus one is three. So the total area for this whole object is 36 square units. Let's see square feet, they're dealing in feet, so our unit is feet, so 36 square feet is your final answer. The next problem says, according to the bar graph below, which pet has the least number of people? So you're looking at that keyword, least number of people. All I see are dog, cat, fish, and bird, and then I see our numbers on the side. I'm, because I don't have a title, I'm going to, I guess, assume that this means number of people. So least, I remember, means lowest or smallest. So I'm looking for the lowest or smallest. When I look at my bars here, my lowest or smallest or least would be fish. Because fish comes between two and four, which means there's three people that have picked fish. Bird is just above fish at four. Cat is way up here between eight and 10, and the number between eight and 10 is nine. And dog is between six and eight. The number between six and eight is seven. So if I'm picking the least, I have to pick fish as my answer. All right, the last problem says, name the fraction of the shaded piece below. So we have the keyword fraction and shaded piece. So I look at my shaded. I only have one piece that's shaded. 
and it already says one fourth. So I go down and I find these two match right here. So one fourth and one fourth is my answer. I have only one fourth shaded on this last one. All right. When you get done with yours, make sure you submit it. If you want a copy of your responses, you can toggle that switch if you choose to have it sent to you also. Then on Google Classroom, make sure you click the Mark as Done button. If you don't do that, it's going to say Missing or it's going to say Not Turned In. All right, thank you and have a wonderful Wednesday.